Hello engineers, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to program a machine learning algorithm to enable a robot to avoid obstacles. The robot that we are going to use for this video is the TurtleBot 3 robot and the obstacle avoidance task is as you can see on the screen. This complete project involves three main steps, which are the environment or simulation setup, the data collection, and training the ML model. The ML model that we are going to use for this video are neural networks. All right, so let's just start with the first part. All the code that we're going to discuss is already uploaded on GitHub and the link to that would be in the description box below. So as we discussed, the robot we are using for this project is the Turtle Bot 3 robot. And the environment that we are using to train the machine learning model is the square environment. As we can see, this turtle board 3 robot is enclosed in a square grid. This complete simulation environment is based on ROS, which stands for Robot Operating System. If you want to get an introduction to ROS, you can check the video on the I button above. And installing the turtle board 3 robot on a ROS system is pretty straightforward and the video to that would also be present on the I button above. Once we have installed ROS on our system and have the turtle board three simulations ready, let's see what are the next further steps to create this simulation environment. To create a new simulation environment, we need to create a ROS package. All the code or the ROS packages that we have are stored on the turtle board three workspace directory. We are going to navigate to this directory and the SRC directory inside it. Then we have this turtle board three neural network. This ROS package contains all the code related to the neural networks that we're going to discuss today. In the world's directory inside the turtle board three neural network ROS package, we have the turtle board three world. This is the simulation environment that we are using. As we can see, it loads the world, which is the square grid that we saw in the simulation before. Now to run this world file, we have a launch file that goes by the name turtlebot3square.launch. This launch file, as we discussed before, starts the world turtlebot3square and launches the turtlebot3robot in the simulation as well. To run the launch file, the first step is to source the workspace. And after this, we run our launch file using the ROS launch command. And here is the environment that we require. Let's now move on to the second step, which is the data collection. Now, neural networks are a supervised learning based machine learning technique. In supervised learning, the learning happens through data. In these kind of algorithms, the ML algorithm learns different patterns from the data. And when that algorithm is presented, under similar environments, the algorithm reproduces whatever it has learned. Our task for this project would be to record the different laser sensor readings of the turtle bot three robot and record the actions that are taken by the turtle bot three robot to avoid the obstacle. Based on the data of the behavior shown by the robot, the neural networks will learn from that data and then when presented in similar situations, whatever based on the laser readings will give us the output of what the robot should do. For the data collection, we are going to create a simple script that enables the robot to avoid obstacles. The turtle bot 3 robot has a laser sensor that is fit into it. The laser sensor records the distance of the nearest objects that are placed in front of it. 
by default, the robot will be moving in a straight line forward. Whenever the distance values from the laser sensor reach a particular threshold, the robot would stop and start rotating at its place. The rotation time will be taken as a random value. Once the rotation is complete, the robot will then start again moving forward. In this way, we will have a kind of wandering behavior and we are going to collect the data for the same. Then we are going to use this data to train the neural network and then run the neural network in this same environment. So let's see the script that we are using to create the wandering behavior of the turtle body robot. This is the obstacle avoidance script. As we can see, the first step is to import the different libraries. And then in the main part of the code, the first thing we do is to start the subscriber and the publishers. We subscribe to the scan topic, which gives us the measurements from the laser sensor. We also start a publisher application to the CMD well, which is going to command the velocities to the robot. Then we initialize a node, the obstacle avoidance node, and we start a loop. As we can see by default, the robot will keep moving forward. For that, we give the twist command of 0.3 in the forward direction. And whenever the sensor distance is less than 0.5, the robot will stop moving forward and it will start rotating. Once again, the rotating value or magnitude is also given as 0.3. This loop will keep on running at 10 Hertz until we stop the program. In another file, we also have the data recorder application. The first step is once again to import the different libraries. And in the main function, we subscribe to both the scan and the CMD well topics. We subscribe to the scan topic to get the laser readings and we subscribe to the CMD well topic to get the velocities of the robot. As before, we initialize the node of data recorder and then we set a callback function that is going to record or save the data in a CSV file at a particular frequency. This is the callback function. As we can see, we are getting the laser range values. Then we are also getting the twist or the C velocity values. We are concatenating both of these values and appending them to a data set list. After a particular time, the complete program would stop and we will write the data set list to a CSV file. To make the script collect the data, we are running a loop with a counter value. The counter value is increasing with each iteration of the loop. And once it reaches a particular value, one e five, the loop will break. Now, in order to record the data, we first have our environment running in the background. Then we get a new terminal window and run the obstacle avoidance script that we just saw before. After running this script, we will see in the environment, the robot avoiding obstacles. Now to record the data, we open another terminal and run the data recorder script. This script will run for some particular time and stop after a while. After the data recorder script stops, there will be a data.csv file present in the scripts folder. As we can see, this is a huge CSV file containing both the laser values and the robot velocity values. In total, there are 1052 data entries. These are going to be enough or sufficient to train our neural network. Now that we have collected the data that we want to train on, the next step is to train the neural network. For training, we have another script named data train.py. We are going to use TensorFlow to build a small neural network that will avoid the obstacles.
as a first step we have to read in the data in this script for that we use the pandas library as we can see we use the read csv function of the pandas library to load the data dot csv since we recorded the laser values some laser values are going to have a value of infinity we cannot simply feed these infinity values to the neural network to train hence we change these infinity values to the maximum possible value that the laser range can take which is 3.5 then in the data frame that we have loaded wherever we see the velocity values as 0.3 we take them to be 1 and wherever we see the angular velocity values to be 0.3 we also take those values 1 and wherever the velocity value is 0.3 in the same row we set the angular velocity value to be 0 we do a similar thing wherever the angular velocity value is 0.3 we set the corresponding velocity value of that same row to be 0 we do this just to convert this complete data problem to a classification problem for a classification problem all the neural network has to do is to predict whether the robot needs to go forward or the robot needs to rotate about its axis we only want the neural network to just predict whether the robot wants to go forward or the robot wants to rotate in order to avoid obstacles in this part of the code we just print the data values and here we prepare the data in the xy format in order to train the neural network the neural network that we have is quite simple we only have two layers the first is a dense layer with 100 nodes and relu activation and the output layer is a dense layer with two nodes with this sigmoid activation we compile the model and train it with the loss categorical cross entropy and using the adam optimizer we train the neural network for 30 epochs with a batch size of 8 once the training has completed we save the model as a model.hdf5 file to train the neural network the command is also again very simple we just type in python data train.py once the training is complete we will see a model.hdf file present in the src directory now we have completed all the steps that we require to train the neural network now let's test this neural network in a simulation environment to run this neural network we need to create another script and we named that script as obstacle avoidance pf.py This script is very similar to the obstacle avoidance dot py script that we had. The small slight difference that we have is in we load the TensorFlow model from the HDF five file, and in the continuous loop that we had, we use the model to predict the next action. the model takes in the laser range as input and outputs what should be the next action the robot should perform if the neural network tells the robot to move forward we give a linear velocity of value 0.3 if the neural network predicts that the robot should rotate then we give an angular velocity of 0.3 to the robot and this loop keeps on running until we stop the execution of the program once again to run this using a trained network we first need to have our simulation running then in a new terminal we run the obstacle avoidance tf script this will take a certain time to load and after the loading the robot would start its wandering behavior we can add different obstacles to this environment to make it difficult for the robot to avoid obstacles however our neural network has been trained as such that it would avoid any obstacle placed in front of the robot 
All right, so this is it that we had to discuss for this video. If you like the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. And thank you for watching. Bye.